The first type of surveillance we have is general surveillance and that looks at the country as a whole. So that's the national bulk team program and calf rearing surveys and the beef surveillance that we have ongoing. The next stage is active surveillance, which is a low risk type of surveillance and has no movement controls for your property. Most farms don't move beyond this and they get through testing quite quickly and then they can be resolved and they can go back to farming. All of this testing looks at herds, not individual animals. In some cases, your property will progress further than this and you will have movement controls put in place. This means that you likely have live animals that have come from some sort of infected property. General surveillance doesn't mean any extra work for the farmers. It captures the country and ensures that there are no farms outside the current known network. This includes things like the bulk milk testing, which is where a milk sample is collected from your dairy supply and tested, for both ELISA and PCR testing. It also includes the calf survey, which is a survey of calf rearers um, who have no known connections to the network at that point. You can also self-report through the 0800 line of the report case if you think any of your cattle are showing any kinds of symptoms. And then there's the mastidic milk survey where your vet can submit samples from your mastidic cows and they can be tested for inhibitors. Your farm can interact with surveillance in one of three ways. You can either be neighboring a confirmed property, you can be a backtrace to a confirmed property, or you can be a step through property. So in these cases, you have had an animal from a confirmed property, but it has since moved on. In these cases, you can continue on with business as usual for your farm. If you neighbor a confirmed property, the best thing you can do is not to graze any of your cattle along the fence line or to have a buffer zone of a minimum of four meters. The reason they were testing you as a neighboring property is due to the risk of straying stock from other farms. When your farm enters active surveillance, the first thing that will happen is a team will come out and they will take blood samples from the cattle that we believe are at risk to exposure of their mothers. These samples are then sent to a lab for testing, which can take between six to eight weeks to return results to you, both verbally and in writing. If these results are considered negative at the herd level, then another round of blood sampling will occur. And if this is also considered negative, then you will be finished your current surveillance. We know that the process of waiting for results can be an anxious time. During this period, you can contact our active surveillance line or the Rural Support Trust in your area. If your herd level test is considered positive, then legal restrictions in the form of a movement control will be placed on the property. This means that no animals can move off until your disease status is determined. Movement restrictions may also be placed on your property if you have received an animal from a confirmed property. These animals will be alive and registered to your NAD account at the time of tracing and they will have left the confirmed property within the risk period that we have identified. To ensure that the process is easy and straightforward, the best thing that you can do is keep all of your farm records up to date. This includes all of your NAD movements, any cattle arriving and leaving your property and any within farm movements that you can identify. This would include records of sick animals during any time when they are in love. When someone calls you to book testing, they will ask you to bring in specific cattle. On the day of testing, it is best to check that you've mustered the correct cattle and that these are available at the time when the testing will occur. Once testing has happened, the best thing for you to do is to ensure that any groups remain separate while on your property if this is possible. We aim to work with you the best way that we can. So we try to fit all testing and any other requirements from the program within your regular farming schedule. We offer many levels of support to farmers at any stage of the process. Any of these options can be accessed through the MPI website or by contacting a team member that comes to visit your farm.